My best friend, F-32, of 20 years ghosted me, F-32. Because her husband passed and I'm distraught. My best friend, Jen, and I have been close since we were 12 in middle school. We did everything together from choosing the same college, to moving into our first apartment together. We ended up living together for nine years until she got married, and everything in between. When she got married I was her maid of honor and helped plan the majority of the ceremony. Jen is my sister, my family, and I love her so much. I really did like her husband and thought they were a good match. However, during the pandemic lockdown, Jen started to confide in me that her husband was drinking a lot and she feared he was an alcoholic. I encouraged her to bring it up with him and see if he needed support, help to tackle the issue. I also for safety reasons asked her if she felt safe when he was drunk. Big mistake apparently. A few days after making this suggestion, her husband called me and accused me of meddling in their marriage and that I've crossed a boundary by accusing him of being an alcoholic, not what I said. I was taken aback by this. The next time Jen and I touched base she told me that she agrees that I'm overly involved in their marital issues and that they needed space. So I said okay totally and gave them space. For almost two years, I didn't have much interaction with Jen besides, happy Christmas, calls, and once for my daughter's baptism. I felt a lot of anxiety those past two years but I told myself it's fine because we're still talking. Shortly after the holidays, Jen's husband died in a DUI collision in which he was the driver. His back was point three. When I heard he died, over Facebook of all places, I called Jen. She told me that she preferred not to see me and that she did not want me at his funeral because her husband did not like me after the whole argument about getting him help for drinking. I'm devastated. I miss my friend and I don't know how to process this or handle it. 20 years gone over one fight. Too long did not read. My best friend thought I was meddling in her marriage b. e. she thought her husband was an alcoholic and I suggested she talk to him about getting help. This caused an argument between him and I. He passed after the argument, and she no longer wants to speak to me. I can only imagine the either intense denial she is currently in or intense feelings of regret. If they had listened to you and he got help, he'd still be here. Facing the denial, regret of those actions might take her a really long time and I would just give her space. I agree with card, gift card, simple I'm here if you need me gesture. But until she is ready, there will be no repairing this. Grief can do a lot of weird things to people. Even if you hadn't had that fight, Jen still might have been withdrawn and not wanting to talk. People process grief differently, and that might include not wanting to talk at first, especially if you weren't talking on a frequent basis directly before this. Maybe six months from now, she'll be in a different stage of grief, and she may or may not be interested in talking at that point. I'd say to make sure that she knows you're there if she wants to talk but give her space. You remind her of how she failed to intervene failed to protect him from himself. I think it's best to allow some distance for now with the funeral so she can process her emotions and calm down. This wound will need some time. Maybe in a few months make contact for something unrelated, be friendly and don't start talking about the DUI or husband. Your friend is probably drinking now save her before it's too late. Keep reaching out. Tell her how much she means to you. This is 100% an assumption but to be honest it sounds like she figured out he was an alcoholic and he gaslit her into thinking you're the one that made her believe it. Then he continued his alcoholism after severing Yal's friendship so that you couldn't meddle again. Is it also possible that she could have picked up her own drinking or drug habit along the way? Definitely check out our, Alanon though, it's a fantastic resource. This is a very difficult situation. I don't think you did anything wrong voicing your concerns but I also understand why she stood by her husband. I feel like seeing you reminds her that she didn't listen to you and that she might have changed things if she had. She is also experiencing extreme grief. I am married to an alcoholic. He is in recovery now but when he was drinking it was very isolating and it is hard for me to be around people who saw him at his worst. Give her time and try reaching out again in six months or one year. Good luck with this. I know it is painful to lose a relationship but you have to let her experience her grief the way she needs to to recover.